All right, welcome back. Um, I have here with me uh, a diva in the Nollywood industry. Um, she's been around for quite a while, actually. She's uh, she's uh, in her stripes, if I if I may use those words. Ufoma, um, do you have do you have a, a, a hyphenated surname? No, no, no. So I it's just Ufoma McDermott. Yes. Okay, because I, I see that sometimes. I don't know. I actually see a Jennifer McDermott. Yeah, my, my sometimes producer I see a actually Jennifer. sometimes they insist they're like, no, we know he has a Jennifer, so <laughs> a Jennifer McDermott. But I dropped. Was it that a hard decision for you? Honestly, it was. I didn't drop it until after three years of marriage, you know. Um, I had a lot of PR people talk to me and say, you know what, yes. just just let it go. Because <laughs> you, you have people who are just celebrities, you know, when you've had an image already, yes. you don't start tweaking it's the name all difficult. over around again. Honestly, it's very difficult. I had very recently, I had a meeting with someone who, who was trying to broker a meeting and he kept saying, Ufuma Ijenobo, Ufuma Ijenobo. And... The guy was wondering who, who, and then he said, Fuma McDonald, and I was like, right. And I said, yes, this is it's like two up. different people. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, but, yeah, it was so, well, good, good to have you here. You, I mean, you've been married for a bit now, yeah, of course. Yeah. You have two lovely children, <laughs> even though she doesn't look it. Are <laughs> you, you <know>? sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you, you give um, what's, what's, what's it called? Body goals. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's yeah, all, no, those I are the hashtags now that we to, see. I have to, I have to. <laughs> family life? Ah, oh, we thank God. Could be better. Those kids, uh, like the minute I come into the house, it seems like they've missed all their mommy. So my son, for example, <laughs> says mommy six times in a sentence and it drives me crazy. <laughs> But I love her. How old is the, the younger one now? Um, she's 10 months. She's 10 months, exactly and the 10 boy months is? Old. He's going to be four this year in October. Great. <laughs> Impressive. Uh, he, of course, he's in school now. Yes, he's, he is. He's, he's in school making already. more friends. Yeah. Is he getting a personality yet? In, in all honesty, I don't even know about making friends. My son is a bit of a... I, I, I won't use the word loner, but he's not too much of a friendly kid. And we thought it was a problem, so we made him start school pretty early. But he hasn't changed. So we just realized that he's this kind of kid. If he, if you know, he has you as a friend, you're his friend forever. Yeah. You know, but he's he's he not that. Too many people open. In. No, no. Who does he? Doesn't. Who did he get that from? <laughs> hmm, let me think about it. Sounds like a Mr. <laughs> he's watching. I'm sure he will oh, deny it. I'm sure he will, but hey. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I'm more outgoing than he is. Uh, okay. if, if he has to get it from someone, it has to be my husband, not me. Did that change anything about your career at all? Getting married. Yeah, um, and I'm um, not talking about, I mean, I know you hear that question a lot. So how do you balance motherhood? Um, that's not what I'm asking about. <laughs> I'm talking <laughs> about... Just roll my eyes. Yeah, I mean, because nobody asks the men that, but that's not the point. My point exactly. Is, my point is... Did that? Did you have to start reconsidering the kind of roles you take, the kind in, of in movies all, in, you do? In, in all honesty, no, no. I think that I, I just had it very good being with someone who, in all honesty, understands what I do, understands what behoves on me as an actor to do, and understands that as an actor, I want to be well-rounded. I'm not going to be, you know, a typecast kind right. of actor because oh, you're good with this, or you want to create a certain kind of image or impression. So what about the children? Because um, I, I, I was seeing Madonna, Madonna got bashed a lot recently. She went for the Met Gala, I think, and she wore one of her crazy outfits. And, and people were like, oh, you're a, you're a mother. You were doing this in the 80s, now you should stop. You, well, know, do you think you should change things up well, because your kids are going to see this movie? In all honesty, Ibuka, I don't think that I've ever been the kind of person I, I'm not proud of. So I think that if I continue being me, I would be proud of me, my kids would be proud of me, my husband would still yeah. be proud of me. Very true, because you, you tend to keep your private life very private. Even the, You let us know <laughs> what you want us to know. And uh, you've been in industry for how long now? Twelve. Twelve, Twelve years. years. That's a long time for it most is. people in a year or two have 600 controversies. We don't se seem to hear a lot about you, you know, getting into fights or... I, I think uh, for me, work is work. You know how the banker gets dressed in the morning, goes to the office, and after work, he leaves the office and goes home and yeah. there's that line. That's how work is for me. So I get into my house. It's my haven. It's my time with my children. I, I can let my head down, you know, and then I get to work. I take it as work. Um, I just think that when people talk about controversies, of course, sometimes it's people being misunderstood and what have you. But there are some people whose lives would generally take on some kind of pattern and it has nothing to do with the fact that they're in entertainment or they're entertainers basically so 
probably if they were bankers, they would have the same kind of lifestyle. If they were pastors, they would have the same kind of lifestyle and what have you. So, so is it a conscious I think thing I'm by just you, boring. it just so no, I'm just a <laughs> <'Cause>, I mean, <laughs> I'm just a boring for, person. For an actor, you, you would expect... It almost sort of comes with the territory, you know, where people want to know these things, you know, um, and you once in a while throw it out just to keep, you know, yeah, the spice I, going. I, I, I understand that, but I, I think I'm really just boring. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just boring. I don't know. I don't, I don't uh -huh. consciously say I will do this or I won't do this. My life has just taken, you know, um, the kind of pattern that it has because of the kind of person I am. And I don't know that I have changed the kind of person I am, yeah. in all honesty. Good stuff. That's, uh, talking about Nollywood now, um, are you happy? Are you happy with Nollywood? Um, for someone I'm not happy. For someone, I'm, I'm yeah. proud. <laughs> someone who's been in the industry for 12 years. I mean, seeing movie from when you started and where we are now. I am very, what makes very you proud? proud. Because, let me, let me put it in a way Desmond Elliott always puts it. We're not where we want to be, but we definitely know where we're coming from. And when you look back at where we're coming from, it makes me proud. Um, t last year or two years ago, two, three years now, 2013, three years now, I did a short film and all the equipment we needed to shoot was in my boot. And I was smiling to my assistant. I said, I can't believe it. Like we're actually going to film and everything we're going to use to film is in the boot of a car. That's like, I mean, when I started out in the industry, you needed a whole location vehicle just to get your equipment because you had all the very hot lights and you needed like how many of them and a then you needed camera. those massive cameras, you know, and then you needed um, the boom mic. Now we use body mics so you can even do without that. Your recorders, your sound recorders are smaller. And I, it just made me happy that we had been able to transcend from what we were yeah. to where we are now. We honestly know that we're not where we want to be. We know. So with any criticism that comes, any comparison to Hollywood, we're very aware yeah. of all of this. But we know where we're coming from, and that's why we're very proud of the progress. All right, we're going to take a quick break now, and we'll come back. We're finding out more about all of the great things Ufoma is doing, and I hear something about duplicity. We'll find out what that is. <laughs> See you in a moment. <laughs>